Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a closet clean out. We are going to declutter my entire wardrobe. I've been wanting to do this for months because I can't find an outfit, the drawers don't shut. I have a shelf inside of my closet where I've completely given up on and I just shove things in it and nothing is organized, nothing fits, it always falls. It's just a tacky mess in there and I need to declutter it. But also, twofold, I'm moving in a week so it makes sense for me to declutter and it just perfectly works out. So we're gonna go buck wild on my closet. My method with decluttering your closet has always been take everything out, put it out on your bed so you can see it. And that way you're not tempted to just leave things on the hanger because it's the easier option to just leave it there instead of actually having to put it back. So when you put it on your bed, it makes it harder, more resistance to keep something. So you can actually pick the pieces that you are genuinely excited to wear and you're happy putting them back on the rack. The second thing with decluttering my closet, I like to have three piles. So one pile is things I'm for sure getting rid of, things I'm keeping, and then a pile of mm, potential. I need to try it on. So that's that pile. Once those piles are done, then we sift through that and we make a pile for recycle, which is essentially the trash pile, but always recycle your clothing. These are clothes that just cannot be given to anyone. They are done. The second pile is to donate. So this goes to anywhere like Goodwill, donate the clothes to people that need them, maybe a shelter, stuff like that. And then the third pile are things that are mint condition, things I've probably never even worn or worn once. And I'm gonna sell them on either Depop or Poshmark. Comment below which you prefer to shop from, Depop or Poshmark. I just wanna do where you guys are most comfortable shopping. So third rule, if you will, of decluttering for me is that I ask myself a few questions when I'm looking at each piece. First one, have I worn this in the last six months? I know most people do it with a year, but I don't genuinely remember what happened a year ago. If I didn't wear it in the past six months, what makes me think that I will wear it? I would also recommend that you make a Pinterest board with all of your fashion inspo. That way you can kind of see the general vibe of your style and anything that doesn't match that in your closet toss her. The second question is, does it excite me? Does it bring me joy? Am I actually excited to wear this piece? Would I buy it if I saw it in the store now? The third question is, how does it make me feel? So if this piece fits great, I feel confident in it, it makes me look good, I'm keeping it. If it's anything other than that, she's going. And then the fourth question is, does it fit well or does it need to be tailored? If it needs to be tailored, make sure it's an investment piece. So if it's something that's an easy fix that you can either do yourself or you know you want to keep this piece, it is an investment piece for you, it's a staple in your foundation, you will take it to a tailor, keep it. But otherwise, if something just doesn't fit and it's like an item from Princess Polly or something, consider just getting rid of it, girly. With all of those rules and questions out of the way, let's jump into decluttering my closet. Why are clothes so heavy? <laughs> I can't believe that I wear the same thing every day and I always say that I can't put together an outfit and I have nothing to wear. I, I still have the coats. I still have the dresser drawers. I still have that fucking shelf thing, girl. I love these jeans so much. They were my favorite Levi's, but the ass ripped, so. Ah! this set more than anything this embodies who I want to be in the summer does it look good with my complexion no what was I thinking this was when you know who was my friend and she tried to get me to wear all these ugly colors this tank top since I was in high school because I always said this is a great basic top to wear with a jacket at night it's been five oh it's been longer than five years it's time to go I got this in New York with Vivian and she told me, get it, get it girl, you're gonna look good in it. Bestie, I have not worn it since then and I think it was not the last New York trip, it was the one before that. Oh, it's cute though. This is the current situation. 
situation. This is the progress you've made. This is the I have to try on pile. Um, that's the keep pile. And that's the absolutely get out of my closet. That dress right there is my favorite dress ever, but one of the hooks uh, on sewn from the dress and now I can't find it and I don't feel like I'm never gonna fix it. So I've got snacks now, I've got my protein balls, I've got Red Dead on the computer, Tag is playing it. I have chips over there just in case. I bought this for, I think my 20th birthday. I'm turning 24 in a month. You know what, I'm gonna make one exception and that is for this dress because she's just too damn cute and maybe I'll wear it for this birthday. Now I gotta clear the door so I can get the coats. I think I'm gonna put all of the clothes that I decided to keep back in the closet, but I'm not gonna worry about organizing them. I'll just put like a dress with a dress, shirt with a shirt. I'm moving and there is no way that I'm gonna maintain the organization here to the new place. So we'll do an entire organizing my closet video. When I move, not decluttering, but just organizing it, getting the stuff we need. That will be organizing, this will be decluttering. So did I need to run that over with you guys? You're not actually here, and I'm talking to myself, but... Questionable. Look, I know my rule was take everything out, but that doesn't include coats because that is a lot, and I don't feel like lifting them. So I'm just taking out the coats that I don't want. This jacket, I actually really like this jacket because it gives me fisherman vibes, but I just don't foresee myself needing this big ass jacket. I wore it in Catalina for like my 22nd birthday. It was raining, it was cold. I just don't think I want to look a good duck. I'm so sorry, but you have to go. Okay, now I have two blazers that are pretty much identical. And in the viewfinder, I like this one better. No, I need both though, but I need both though. Oh, I like this color. I like this color very much. I like this color very much. That is done. Let's move on to the dresser. These are all my workout clothes. We didn't finish the walk-in closet. We gotta do those shelves, which are the real problem. Those will be last. my Sophie's since freshman year of high school. They're so stretched out, they don't even fit me. Cause you know, back in high school was the trend to like roll them up so that you, they'd be so short. Nah girls, nah, it's time to retire the Sophie's. Okay, so when cleaning my drawers, I have the leftover jean shorts in here. So I put them on those shelves, but this is gonna be for sweatpants now because that was everything that was on those shelves. Now the shelves are empty and I just put the shorts there. I think I'm gonna put sweatshirts here, whatever else I can fit, whatever feels right. Oh, For the shelves, I just did super simple because this is not gonna exist in a week. I put skirts up in this one and then shorts over here, um, hoodies, sweatshirts, another hoodie sweatshirt, and then sets. So like pajama sets that are really thick, thick sets down here as well. And then in the drawers, I put sweatpants in here. That's another set, but I couldn't fit it in this one. But I have long and warm pajama sets and just pajamas, and then light and summery pajamas and pajama sets. This is underwear, lingerie, and socks and stuff like that. And then I actually don't know what's in the bottom drawer. Okay, clearly I forgot, but I have all of my swimsuits in here. Disastrous, but I tried folding them before and putting them, you know, in order. That never lasts. So I'm kind of okay with the organized chaos, but I'm gonna go through it and declutter the ones that are not, they're not it for hot girl summer, you know? This 
is the pile of everything that's going, getting sold, recycled, or being donated. I think that's a pretty good chunk of my closet. I, I did well. I'm excited to not have to move all of this stuff that wasn't serving me. That was everything for this decluttering video. I hope you guys decluttered along with me and you enjoyed it. If you guys want to see the organization video of my new closets in my new apartment in like a couple weeks, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. But that's everything and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!